Hi, I'm Caroline Hutchins and I'm with the Cumberland River Compact. We have a program called River Friendly Farms and it is our way to recognize farmers who are good stewards of their soil and our shared water resources. And this video is for our River Friendly Farmers to show you guys how to be better marketers at the farmer's market. So we are here today with Daryl Lane, the Executive Director of the Nashville Farmer's Market. He does an excellent job with merchandising and sales and he's going to give you some tips. The Farmer's Market is here at downtown Nashville. It is uh, the largest farmer's market in Nashville. Uh, and what we do here basically is um, we provide a place for farmers to come to be able to sell the products that they make. There's three things we really recommend when you consider going to a farmer's market and maybe selling your product. Um, the first thing is, is to make sure that you plan and design whatever space you're gonna have to sell your product so that when you get there, you're organized and you're set up. The second thing that's most important is the actual visit visual presentation of your product. You wanna make sure you're grouping like items together, you're working with color, you're working with height, and that in your design and in your presentation, you're making it easy to shop. And then of course, the last thing we wanna let everybody know is don't forget the customer. Uh, greeting and engaging everyone who comes into your booth or into your area, explaining to them what you offer, and then certainly helping them with maybe signing. And you know, one thing people forget about sometimes too it, when you go to a farmer's market is, where do you locate your register for your transactions? And we're gonna recommend that you try to do that where it doesn't obstruct your set. It's so fun to, to shop the farmer's market and yes. you have all these beautiful colors. So, you know, kind of tell me why this is set up the way it is. Yeah, um, well, this certainly was not done by accident. Uh, when the farmers do their presentations, one of the things that they want to do is make their uh, booths and their station areas uh, with all their produce very attractive. So color is very important when you do that. So it, what you can tell is we have, you know, a green section with the beans. We have, you know, some, uh, some onions and some berries. As we start moving through the color, we have some nice purple cauliflower. We have berries. But the sections of color themselves draw people to the booth and gives, uh, gives a wonderful presentation for the farmer. Now I notice here they don't have many cauliflower left, but it, you don't really notice that at first. Kind of tell me about the way they've uh, set this cauliflower. Let's say you do have a small presentation like you see here. What you can do is first off get it up closer to eye level so that when customers come up they can easily see it. Uh, they have it work, notice they have it piled up a little bit so they can kind of make it and group it, make it look uh, like it's more impactful. Uh, and certainly if you know you need more, the farmer's always willing to answer questions as to what they can do to help you get more. You have lots of farmers here. They sell a lot of the same stuff. What's a way that a farmer can differentiate their product from other farmers? There are a few ways you can do that. Uh, one thing I would recommend is to make sure that your fixture is gonna catch people's eye. In other words, use a variety of fixturing. Uh, again, try to get your product up close to the customer's eyes as much as possible. Here's a classic example of how they've done a couple things that I think are very important. One, they've shown some height in the back of their set and they've also shown the differentiation between all of their different vegetables. And the other thing I've noticed is that they've actually cleaned them. You know, washing them off and uh, everybody knows they're coming out of the ground, but washing them off and making them look attractive is also very important. Okay. I have these River Friendly Farms brochures here. We give these to all of our farmers that are certified River Friendly uh, because we want their customers to know that the way they farm supports healthy soil and healthy water. How can they display that at their booths? What's the most effective way? There are several ways you can do it. One is if you have banners, to put those banners up somewhere throughout your set so that they're very visible to people when they come into your booth. Another area certainly you don't want to ignore in this is the register as people come up to pay for whatever they've uh, purchased from your booth area and then they can take those home and read more about it. Well all this talk about food has made me hungry so let's get out of here and maybe go buy some stuff. All right. <laughs>